As we all know, Sri Lanka has always been an import dominant country. We really need to change our mindset to make it an export dominant country. And to do that, we need to really tap into the resources that we have. How is trade facilitating that? From a global pandemic to a national economic crisis, Sri Lanka's trade and logistics sector has had a lot to overcome in recent years. We spoke to SEMA member and Assistant Vice President for Business Development of Maritime Freight and Logistics Sectors, Dashma Karunaratna, for her insights on how the sector can grow sustainably, integrate women in more key roles, and help Sri Lanka navigate its worst economic crisis in decades. COVID-19 brought global economy to a standstill. The sharpest drop in world trade occurred in Q2 of 2020, with global merchandise trade falling by more than 20% relative to the same quarter of 2019. The relative recovery led by China ensured that trade contracted only by 5.3 in 2020. As for the World Trade Organization, trade growth for 2021 is an 8% increase. This strong recovery in demand is largely attributed to economic stimulus packages. However, in 2022, trade growth is expected to slow down to 4%. This retardando will leave global trade below its pre-pandemic trend. COVID-19 continues to pose the greatest threat to the outlook for trade and the same challenges will apply to Sri Lanka. The changes in fiscal policy, tax administration methods, unattractive exchange rates that led to poor worker remittances, along with drop in tourism, negatively impact our economy that was already strained. We have a God-given strategic location with close proximity to the main east-west shipping route. All top global shipping and airlines are represented in Sri Lanka. Our country is a transshipment hub for shipping. We are closely pegged to the economic growth of the region. With countries like India, Bangladesh in our neighbourhood, we are poised for growth. The terminals in the port of Colombo are individually strong, but together unbeatable. That has always been my business proposition for the port of Colombo. POC has always put up a stellar performance, growing steadily over the years. If you look at a horizon of 20 years, the compound annual growth rate is 15%. If you look at medium term, short term, 5%. In fact, for 2021, Port of Colombo amidst COVID lockdowns, congestions in ports on the east to west maritime lanes, achieved a throughput of 7,249,000 TUs, that's 20 foot equivalent units which is the highest in its history. Over the years, we have consistently climbed the top port ranking. It's a great example of sustainable growth. The group launched a three-hour strategy, realign, reinvent, relaunch. And this strategy was rolled out vigorously with great focus on the vulnerable businesses. In addition to this, robotic process automation was implemented and investments were made towards digitization and digitalization. We embarked on a digital strategy and embraced digital marketing with great optimization on social media platforms. We introduced semi-virtual mobility to safeguard and engage the staff. Effective strategic and situational leadership styles worked in unison with the Spensonian team's passion and commitment, which enabled our cluster to record the best results in our history. As the chairperson of Vilat Sri Lanka, I had the opportunity to position women as an integral role in the industry and the economy. Uh, through programs like Ignite, we were able to provide mentoring and groom them and develop them for the career next move. We also encouraged he for she supporters at work who would coach the ladies and give them opportunities that they would not normally get. Mm -hmm. 
Sima makes us the quintessential professional for all seasons. Uh, my most recent engagement was implementing the group's 3R strategy in our freight forwarding sector. Amidst the pandemic, we had to restructure, right-size the organization, embrace semi-virtual mobility and ride the wave of supply chain disruption. Today, we have had a complete turnaround, moved from red to black, phenomenal results. We have had the best of times amidst the worst of times. It's attributed not to a superhero, but to a super team. As we all know, Sri Lanka has always been an import-dominant country. We really need to change our mindset to make it an export-dominant country. And to do that, we need to really tap into the resources that we have. For example, an exporter should, not, should be able to easily take his produce from here, Sri Lanka, to all the markets in the world. How is trade facilitating that? We need to be true to ourselves and see how we are complementing these people. Uh, we can handle way more than the number of tourists that are coming to our country. In terms of export of services, yes, tourism, ports. How about the, the knowledge that we have in the country among the young? we can export those services too. As Sri Lankans, we need to aspire to become an exporter of goods and services. And that will give us a better tomorrow.